Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Food Beyond Its Nutrition. On the plate today, I have wasabi crawfish poke. I'm going to show you how to make it. Okay guys, to actually make this wasabi crawfish, of course you need the star of the show and this is cooked uh, crawfish. This one has been cooked and frozen. You can cook it like fresh, take the tails out and allow it to cool. So we have, uh, this is 12 ounces or a pack, usually it comes in 12 or 14 ounces, but this is a 12 ounce pack of crawfish that I have drained. Actually, force of habit, I rinsed and drained it. And so, so that's that, it was defrosted. I need half a cup of mayo, and this is slightly more than half a cup because that would have just left a little tiny bump in the jar and I just couldn't see putting that back in the refrigerator but you need half half a cup a third or a half a cup depending on on the desired taste and the texture that you're looking for of um, mayo oh sorry of mayonnaise right and I this is the brand that I like I like best foods I just do okay now to this we are going to add two tablespoons, one to two tablespoons of cooking oil. And I'm gonna add two tablespoons, I say cooking oil, avocado or um, olive oil. But you know guys, I'm diehard avocado. So I'm gonna, I added the avocado. I also need uh, two tablespoons of sriracha sauce. So we're going to add that, Ooh. two tablespoons of sriracha sauce, and it just comes out of the, um, the spoon easier, the measuring spoon, if you do any kind of oil first. So two tablespoons of sriracha. This has a nice little spicy kick to it. Um, over here. I have a tablespoon of wasabi and that's prepared wasabi paste. You can use one to two tablespoons. All right, guys. So I have a, a prepared wasabi and that's, it comes like this, comes in a box. Okay, it's already prepared. And or you can get the powder and prepare it yourself. And I do have the powder, but do feel like preparing it myself. All right, so that's that. I have the juice of a lime. And that's one of the reasons why you use the, um, the oil, okay? Because it will make your mayo really, really runny if you don't. I have half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, guys, that's about half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Half a teaspoon of white pepper. You can use black pepper or whatever you have on hand. Remember that it's already got the wasabi in it, so you might not want to do that. I have four cloves of garlic that were finely minced. I have uh, some red Fresno peppers or red jalapenos. Yes, this is spicy. And I have, this is um, a teaspoon of rice syrup. All right, give it a, just a little sweet kick. Okay. I have the zest of a lime in the plane here, the microplane. That's the zest of me lime and the microplane and the lime just really it just it just picks it up you know it just it really does something for it and to it and so I'm just gonna whisk this all together okay I'm gonna whisk this all together there you go Give it a good whisk. Make sure it's all incorporated very, very well. And you can give it a taste if you want. See if you think it needs more salt 
uh, more uh, white pepper. If you think it's too thin, uh, more um, oil. No, nope, that's perfect. To be honest with you, no, it's not. I'm going to put in the rest of the wasabi. So I did a tablespoon. This will give me two tablespoons. Now, I usually buy the, the, small, the small one of these, the prepared wasabi, because I don't use it that often. And if you don't actually use it, to me, one, once you've opened it, um, you really need to use it up. Too late. Right. I'm gonna give it a taste. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah. Oh, that did it. I'm gonna add the green onions. I'm going to add the crawfish. And I'm going to give this a mix. And make sure it is thoroughly mixed, guys. Ooh, that wasabi is serious. Make sure it is thoroughly, thoroughly mixed. You want every piece of the crawfish to be immersed and coated with this sauce and now this needs to go into the refrigerator for a couple of hours so it will just marinate you want everything to come together you really do this is really delicious I really love this when we get ready to serve this we're going to sprinkle it with some sesame seeds and with some uh, chopped cilantro but in the meantime we're going to cover this and put it into the refrigerator and allow it to marinate for a minimum of two two hours and of course we're going to serve this with some jasmine or with some sushi rice take a look at this crawfish wasabi or wasabi crawfish this is an absolutely delicious, it is so flavorful. It's got punch to it because of the wasabi. And this is gonna be something that will complement the other poke dishes I'm gonna have, which is ahi, tuna, and salmon. But this is crawfish wasabi. And I'm gonna serve mine with some jasmine rice and I'm gonna forego the, the traditional or typical way that it's served, which is, in a bowl with rice and the poke goes on top but because I have two other pokes I'm gonna do it platter style if you actually like this video guys please like subscribe and hit that notification bell and every time I upload a video you'll be notified as I said I'm gonna serve this with jasmine rice and also ahi mango and ginger poke which is off the chain I'm also going to do a nice sweet and spicy salmon poke. Again, absolutely delicious. So guys, bon appetit. Come on, let's eat.